Hey, we're out here at uh, Premier Paintball in New York City. I've got Kevin with me, the owner of this fabulous company. We're doing some quality control. I came out here to check out um, the quality control of my brushes being manufactured. But I gotta say, they're awesome. So, doing a great job, Kevin. Yeah, keeping me on my toes. Yeah. yeah. I say flawless, flawless. This is probably our most our important part of our business currently. There's no laser here. There's right. no eye. The quality control you see at the end is all by hand. Right. And also we're still, a lot of different points of this are all done by hand. Right. This could all be automated. Right. right now we're very content as our business grows on this, right, on, on this side, we're very content with the touch and feel of, of the brushes. Right. Our specifications and our, and our engineers have worked for a very long time because it looks like just a handle Right. But if this is off in the manufacturing process anywhere, right. then it could be too big or too small for the ferrule, right. which then can create a lot of waste and a lot of damaged brushes, right. right? And so it is amazing, whether it's a wood handle or whether it's a metal ferrule, how important it is and how precise it has to be. Right. These are all different um, stages of our manufacturing process, right? We have. Uh, spec sheets here, which we'll keep here, but like this is going to be, right? This is going to be a three inch brush, you know, that's already been glued, all right? That, you know, during our manufacturing, it has not been finished. It's only been just the head and applied. It's gone through the machine. It's been pulled down. It's been glued. And depending on what our production schedule is and what our needs are, they will incorporate that right into the handle uh, stage right into the nailing stage, right into the to the cleaning and beating stage, and then the finishing stage. Right. So you keep in manufacturing, and we do this with roller covers too. I can't see how. Come on, yeah. And I say, can't you see your perfect how you are? So what's interesting, and right, so this right. is where the fabrics right. end and the fabric begins. So this part during the QC process will be cut off, right. right? You're not gonna ship out, but it just goes to, you know, it shows you, right, in terms of quality control and everything. So you'll have a finishing process? Oh yeah, it'll go through a combing process multiple right. times, right? And then a, and a vacuuming right. process multiple times in order to make it a lot smoother. So yeah. that's, I, that would this be- This is a raw stage, right. what you're looking at here. Nothing's been done to any of these roller covers here other than them being manufactured on a core. Tonight, girl, you are my star, and no one shines like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody because there's nobody like you. There's nobody like. There's nobody like you. What kind of filament is that? I knew you were gonna ask me that. We have hundreds, hundreds of, of filaments, so it's hard for me. Oh yeah. Uh, this looks like a DuPont filament in my right hand. This one, uh, I think is a DuPont as well. We have hundreds of filaments. That's all I can say now. Yeah, you're so damn fine. I'm losing my speech now. Rule down, rule down. There's no need to feel down. We take tremendous pride in our quality control procedures. We don't let a laser or an eye or a machine tell us what's good and bad about a brush or to focus on imperfection. We do stuff by hand. We have tweezers and nail clippers. Literally, as you can see, which is super expensive, but that's the type of quality control that we want to make sure that yourself, Benjamin Moore, and others 
understand the pride we take in this U.S. big brushes. Any person who has done engineering and quality control for their career will look at this and be like, you're crazy. But when you run your own business and it's family, you do what's right for the business, not necessarily, you know, uh, and your brand, not looking at your PL and your numbers all the time. We are in Queens, which is, if it's not the most diverse borough uh, of all five, it is one of the most diverse right. places in this in the country. So we are right. very fortunate. Um, we have not just a, the density of the population that you saw coming from JFK, just 10 minutes south of us all the way here. Uh, we're, we are very fortunate to have a very diverse workforce, hardworking people such as ourselves, right. Uh, very dedicated to our business. Yeah, and so um, just a little bit about the company itself too. How many employees do you have working here manufacturing all these brushes and rollers? Uh, so uh, globally, we have over 100 people. Uh, we never look at numbers. Uh, we tend to focus on the quality of the employees. And when we get busy, we tend to have people work a lot more overtime. Right. Uh, but our business continues to grow. We've been very fortunate. Um, as you know, we uh, have vertically integrated uh, in Mexico to produce some more commodity-based items, which is very different than our approach here and diversify our, our supply chain. Uh, but as our business grows um, in the United States on the premium side, we will continue to add to that headcount. But we don't just hire anyone. We take a lot of care, uh, a lot of training, uh, and we will work with people and have them come in six days a week and work overtime to ensure the stability of the uh, and consistency of the quality of our products. I know just walking through and watching people, you know, um, in quality control, watching them manufacture the brushes and rollers, it does seem like they all really take pride in what they're doing in well, here. No, absolutely, and when I'm not traveling, uh, I spend time on the factory floor, right? I grew up in this business in high school, and, and I think when I first started, uh, uh, you know, here in my mid-20s, I unloaded trucks myself on a, on, on a hot and humid day so I really learned the business from the ground up. And it's important for me to get out and be on the floor, uh, yeah. to say hello to the people, to, to know their names, to, to see what, you know, and see if there's any ongoing improvements that our business can make. And, and so I like to touch and feel, and I take a tremendous amount of pride in our roller manufacturing, as well as these paint brushes. So it just gives me great joy just to walk around the floor and see the success. Yeah, absolutely. So Thank you so much for coming today. You know, I, I appreciate you and your family being here, spending the time, keeping me and Sarah on our toes about quality. And I'd be remiss to, to reinforce that behind every successful business, and including our family business, you know, is usually a strong woman. So we want to make sure that Sari gets her time on the film there. Absolutely. But we really enjoy working with you. It's been a pleasure and your insights are truly valuable. Yeah, I, I once again appreciate the invitation to come, to get the tour of the factory, to see, um, to allow me to see the quality control and what goes on behind the scenes. It's um, a great experience. I learned something uh, new once again coming here and I really appreciate it. And. Um, you guys are doing a great job with our brushes. We thank you and appreciate that too. Right. Okay. Thank you to you and your team. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you very much for having us. That's good this way. That looks pretty good form. Yeah, me. Ready? Uh, this looks like a DuPont moment in my right hand. This one, uh, I think, is a DuPont as well. We have hundreds of filaments. Uh, Filming. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, that actually might go on our website. <laughs>